This is one of two satellite views of the life of the tropical cyclone and CO3, our city. And it's currently located 13 south, 53 east. Maximum sustained winds 80 knots, gusting 100 knots. And it looks like the uh, system has developed a little bit further. However, welcome to another update from uh, Force 13. It's you know, free, as mentioned, 13 degrees south, 53 degrees east. It's about 492 nautical miles north northwest of Port Louis. Mauritius, tracking southward at three knots. This is the uh, second satellite view of its life. Animated multispectral satellite imagery shows weakening convection, partially covering a low level circulation center. Tropical Cyclone CO3 is experiencing a favourable vertical wind shear 10 to 15 knots. This is a Joy Typhoon Warning Centre's current track chart and followed by Matteo France. However, its defined poleward outflow channel is weakening and equatorward outflow is marginal, leading to deteriorating and low ocean heat content. Water evident in satellite derived sea surface temperatures as a small area of sea surface temperatures below 26 Celsius, further depriving the system of energy. Now here's some um, uh, tracks on the system. The Silo 3 has curved to the south uh, tracking slowly along the peripheral of the subtropical ridge located to the east which is weakening and reorienting leaving CO3 in an ambiguous steering environment. The poleward outflow channel is expected to be inhibited during this time. Upwelling of cool water due to the low ocean heat content, weak upper level divergence are expected to cause steady weakening of the system dissipation within 96 hours. Now here's a look at the NOAA floaters. Although uh, since my earlier update, sees, uh, upper level divergence appears to be a little bit stronger. A secondary steering which to the rest will, will build become the dominant steering mechanism causing the cyclone to track back to the north and then accelerate to the northwest along the periphery of that steering ridge. The easterly southeasterly shadow layer uh, wind field will also drive CO3 to the northwest later in the forecast period. Upper level divergence. Wind shear. The ECMW is the outline and it does not predict a loop but maintains a westward track. 24 hour shear tendency. The 850 minute bar of vorticity and that's the uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Centre said it remains in a favourable environment 
Now we have a look at the microwave imagery. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest uh, information. And once again, apology for my uh, voice. And finally, the Navy's NEFCHAM. And the UK Met. You can follow Force 13's outlets. The website, force13.com. Our YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash force13. On Facebook, under the same name, Force13. And our Twitter handle, it's at Force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.